Hi, I'm Tom with Kuat Racks. I'm going to show you how to the, replace the ratchet arm on your rack. Now the process is pretty simple and it is the same between the Envy, the Envy Core, and the Sherpa. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, you only need a couple of tools to do this, a uh, Phillips head screwdriver and an 8mm wrench. First step uh, is to remove the, uh, the bolt and the nut at the base of the ratchet arm. Uh, this is kind of what holds everything together. So your 8mm wrench goes on that nut on the back and then screwdriver on the bolt. Um, undoing this will allow everything to free up and come loose. Okay. Make sure you save that stuff, don't lose it. <clears throat> now after you've removed the bolt from the base of the ratchet arm, uh, you move up here to the top. Now right at the top there are two black tabs on either side. Use the, use the bolt to kind of disengage those and allow the whole ratchet arm and ratchet rack to slide out. You want to start with the one that's closest to you or here where the ratchet arm hooks over. So pressing in there, press that tab down, do the same thing on this side. And as you do that, now the whole ratchet arm and the ratchet rack will slide out freely. <clears throat> now, the way that this looks, so you have your ratchet arm and then these two ratchet racks that are sandwiched around uh, the ratchet arm. Um, these pieces are all going to go back together, of course, to go back in. So once you have your new ratchet arm, uh, you take the ratchet racks and, of course, sandwich those again on either side of the ratchet arm. Um, now these, the ratchet racks are the same, so you're not going to mix them up. It doesn't matter which side of the ratchet arm they go on. Uh, once back together, of course, you're gonna slide it right back in. And all the way back down until those little plastic tabs kind of engage. So they'll stay there. Take your bolt, slide it right back through the hole. Your nut and your washer for the back side. Grab your eight millimeter wrench and your screwdriver. And after you've got that all tightened back down, you're ready to go. That's probably good, Aaron.